Alright guys, it's you, my ninja coming at you with another video, and I'm gonna be showing you how to decrease missiles. Teacher, teacher, I haven't heard shit. I've been sitting in your class and I haven't learned shit. Teacher, teach, I can't sit in my seat. I'm a pretty smart kid. Why you giving me D's, huh? Teacher, teacher, somebody gotta say it. What they teaching you to teach me is all outdated. It's all out crazy. Truthfully, I know you're not a fan of this. Fuck your lesson plan and your algebra and calculus now. Teacher, teacher, I ain't gonna lie. I ain't really focused cause my uncle just died. And my daddy keep drinking and my mama keep crying. And I swear it's getting worse, but I know to keep quiet. Teacher, teach, you ain't giving a fuck. I understand though, they ain't really pay you enough. All right, so we finna get into the materials. Of course, you're gonna need the shoe that's being worked on, a towel, an iron, really essentials, major key alert. And I suggest having a spray bottle filled with cold water. If you don't have a spray bottle, then you could just use a container that has cold water in it. All right, guys. So first, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to start heating up your iron. The mode that you should have your iron on is cotton. Now, while we wait on the iron to heat up, we're going to go ahead and wet our towel. I don't mind the sink. This is a utility sink, man. It's in the fucking laundry room. Shit don't really matter, though. So, you're going to wet up towel with cold water make sure that it's damp and not soaked because if you do soak it you will mess it up you will mess your shoes up all right guys before we start i really want to stress that this method does not only work on sevens it actually works on almost any shoe that you can think of but it doesn't work on 11s, and I don't recommend using it on 13s. All right, so to start us off, we're going to take the damp towel, just fling it over the midsole. Fling it over the whole shoe, you know what I'm saying? Get it on now. Go ahead and get your iron a little test. Make sure it's hot. Hear the steam come out. You know it's ready. And you just want to go apply the heat, not for too long, over the midsole. Couple seconds. Don't leave it there because if you do leave it on the midsole, it will heat up the glue that's uh, bonding the sole and the uppers together. So then a whole bunch of sole separation, you don't want none of that. Go ahead and give it, give it some steam and keep it going. You show up, you ain't appreciated enough. And half my homies skip class just to face him a blunt. I know there's things in my life I can't control No same old things in my life I can't let go of I know there's things in my life I can't control No same old things in my life I can't let go As you can see, we got most of the creases out compared to the other shoe over here that has not been worked on at all. Um... Repeating the process a couple times will help you get, you know, some of the deeper ones out, like up here. They're not as visible, but when the light hit them right, you can still see them. So go ahead and keep doing that. If you want it to look flawless like they factory, go ahead. Keep doing it as many times as you want. Like so teacher, teacher, I ain't gonna lie. I ain't really focused because my auntie just died and my daddy keep drinking and my mama keep crying. And I swear it's getting worse, but I know to keep quiet. Hey, envisions that are past like a past.